48 incidents of racism recorded. This is a six year old boy locking him in a small room and the desk that he was forced to sit in that had all of these horrible slurs on it, six years old. His mom had to put a recording device on him and send him to school so that she can have something tangible to be able to prove what her son is going through. Shame on the Toronto District School Board. Shame on you. Six years old. How does this child even try to understand and reconcile what he's gone through? Racist white supremacist school board. Shame on you. Shame on you. And do you know, I can actually relate to this because when I was six years old, I went to a school in Montreal, Quebec, and I had a racist teacher. And I specifically remember the day that I had dropped some chocolate milk on the floor and she made a racial slur to me about the chocolate milk, comparing it to me and my complexion and put me on my knees and forced me to clean the chocolate milk up and gave me these dry pieces of um, uh, cloth to uh, clean up the chocolate milk. And while I was cleaning it and circling it and I was crying because I felt humiliated, she hit me in my back. Well, let me tell you, when I went home and told my father about this, he went down to that school and I will not repeat some of the things that he said, but let's just say from that day forward, I had no more problems with said teacher. Um, I believe she was let go, but just for a period of time and then she was asked back and I was reassigned to another class. But you know, my father had to really go down there and make some very, very, very strong threats of if anybody touches his daughter again. So I, like this young child, could not understand why I was singled out. I believe I was, if I remember correctly, the only black girl in the class. So, and she picked on me regularly, but that day she hit me. And that's where and I decided it was time to tell my parents what was going on. I really feel for this young boy because I can only imagine how he must feel um, when things are said about him. You know, you heard about the teacher telling him that he was stupid and then the rest of the class laughing. Another thing that I can relate to as well. This is horrible. This is horrible and they need to be held accountable. These teachers, the faculty, Whoever else is involved in this needs to be fired, not just let go or put on house, whatever it was that they, they did. None of that is acceptable. They need to be fired. Let me know what you think about this. I'm absolutely appalled. I look forward to hearing your comments. And in the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, peace be.